How you guys doing? Uh, back again. Uh, messing around with the shaper here. Uh, the Amco 7 inch shaper. Um, been asked a couple of times from a couple of different people to do a couple more videos on this stuff. Apparently you guys like to see the shapers working. And uh, I'm here to oblige you. I'll grab a safety glasses here. Uh, what I ended up doing here is um, I mounted a, uh, a lathe bit here in the uh, tool holder. Um, didn't have uh, anything else handy so I just used a, another piece of rod here as a place keeper and all that good stuff. Got it wrenched down nice and tight and messing around here for a little bit. And uh, just here to tell you that you can use regular uh, carbide uh, lathe bits. I think this is a uh, uh, C6 that's in this one here if I'm not mistaken. My eyes are getting bad so I couldn't tell you for sure. Oh, excuse me, it's an AR. It's an AR bit. But anyways, um, I'm trying to uh, reduce the thickness uh, the real slow way on the shaper. And um, I tried to put some um, high speed steel against this uh, uh, this tool, but man, it's tough. Whatever this stuff's made out of, uh, it's pretty tough. So I just decided to uh, use the uh, carbide lathe bit here and um, include you guys here on uh, what I'm doing. Uh, basically, I got to reduce this in thickness. To fit inside of this tool holder here, um, this is carbide 2, it's a, a C2 carbide I believe, and um, I got to reduce it to fit it in here, so I got a one piece tool that uh, doesn't have any chatter. Um, I made a holder uh, yesterday uh, out of aluminum, um, went ahead and uh, made it for these uh, thinner carbide bits and it works really well as a matter of fact. Um, I was uh, doing a little bit of roughing on this with the uh, the carbide just for giggles and um, I decided hey I'm going to try a uh, lathe bit in there and uh, see how that fares. Well I already made a couple of passes and uh, then I remembered some people actually wanted to see some videos on this crap so uh, here we go. Stand by. It's smoking a little bit right now because I dropped some oil on it. Um, it's taking a nice chip off of it. Probably somewhere in the 10,000s neighborhood. Set this. I still got quite a ways to go here, so I'm not even really uh, paying too much attention and kind of going. Yeah, there's ten thousands right there, and uh, ten thousand seems to be. Yeah, the selector on this thing, you can make it go either direction, and if you aren't paying attention like I wasn't, it doesn't go the right way. Hopefully in a few passes, the oil that's on there will dissipate and we won't get the smoking anymore.
is the e-ticket right here. We'll uh, go ahead and make one more pass. Alright, so we're going to come down another uh, ten thousandths. Eh, let's go fifteen. <laughs> about the limit here as far as uh, depth of cut on this one. Getting a little bit of resistance in it. It's not horrible, but I can see the box moving around a little bit more than I wanted to. This is all roughing still, so it's not super critical, but yeah, I don't really want to stress the machine much more than this. This isn't for money, this is for fun, so breaking the machine probably wouldn't be uh, very fun. I suppose it could slow the machine down and uh, Probably take nicer cuts. That was more light timer going off. And uh, bring you guys in for a little closer look here. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching.